Hi, I'm Calder, and I'm going to guide you through the utility. There are two versions of the utility. There's a dedicated app, and there's a web version. You don't need to run it in the background. It's just for configurating your keyboard. So let's take a look how to get started. You can see that the utility detects your keyboard with the connection status color. If you look at the status color, when it's green, it found your keyboard. When it's orange, it can't find your keyboard. And when it's gray, it's an inactive profile. On the left side is your profile list. The keyword profiles are the profiles that are currently active on your keyboard. These are accessible with the quick buttons, the mode, A1, A2, and the A3 keys. All your inactive profiles are listed below here. These are only accessible through the utility. You can quickly create a new profile by clicking the button right over here. It will list an inactive profiles. Do you want to make it active? Simply hold, drag, and drop it on an active profile, and it will swap position. Pro tip here, double click any profile to rename the profile name. There are a lot of features in the utility and they're all organized on the bottom bar right over here. When you make changes to your profile, you can undo and redo your changes with the buttons located right on the top or press your known undo redo hotkeys. After making any unsafe changes, the save to keyboard button will highlight in green. Make sure to press it to save it to your keyboard. Before you get started, make sure to check out the utility settings. There are a couple of things that you need to pay attention to, such as wanting to disable NKRO if you have trouble accessing your BIOS or plan to play on a console. Right underneath, you can see that you can also disable the gamepad completely, which is very useful if you have any gamepad issue interference with different games. The best part is the utility does not need to run in the background. It's just for changing configuration on the keyboard. And don't forget to save the keyboard. Bye-bye.